Hello there. Today we'll be doing our first intermediate interval question. So this is pretty interesting. What we're going to do here in insert interval is that we're going to take um, a interval, let's say 1, um, 3, and uh, 6, and 9, and we're going to insert a new interval. Let's say this interval is 2 and 5. So when this happens, we're gonna do what we're gonna do is um, join uh, intervals that overlap into a single interval and return. So which we're gonna return is one, five, and six, nine. This means that there are three possibilities uh, when we have a new interval. The first possibility is that it's less than um, the the start. Uh, next possibility, it is in between. And the last possibility is that it is over, which is uh, here. Oh, whoops. Here, 10 and 11. So dealing with the first case, where it's a less than, what happens is that um, if it's less than, well, um, what we're going to do is append the new interval. And then we're going to return the rest of the items, because that's all we need to do. If it is greater, then um, we will. Uh, there might be more in the in, in the coming, so there might be uh, like a 11, 12, 13. Then uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just insert it, and we're gonna keep going. If it is um, in between, then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna join. Um, find the minimum between the two and the maximum between the two and make that the new interval and then we will um, you know this will be a new interval um, and, and we'll uh, keep going until we hit a case where we no longer overlap and we add it uh, to our results and we submit it so that's uh, what we're gonna do hopefully that makes sense hopefully I didn't go too fast I think it made sense so what we're gonna do create a result and we're going to make go through this a second time and then a third time. So for in uh, I and interval in enumerate uh, intervals, what we're going to do is um, if, so we're going to do the first case where uh, we have a smaller than, a less than. So we're going to take the end of the new interval and the start of the um, the interval, so we're going to check that. So if the new interval um, at the one at the the end is uh, let's say lesser than the interval at uh, the start, that means that uh, we have uh, to return. Um, so we, we just have to res dot append um, the interval, new interval, and return the results plus everything else afterwards. So else if this is the other case where it is greater than. So that means that um, new interval start is lesser is um, greater than the end and what we're gonna do is just append interval and move on else uh, we do what we need to do, which is uh, expand the new interval, which is equal to the um, min of the new interval starts and the interval, the current interval starts. And we take the max of the new interval and interval end. Okay. With that, what we have is we have completed the code. And in the last case is that we reach the end, but then we do not 
um, append the new interval yet. So if we have a case at which um, the new interval is not inserted because it is not lesser than the new one, then we need to insert it after everything else. Then we return the results. Run the code. Looks good. Let's submit. Um, this one's much slower than ever before, but it was much faster, weirdly. But that's how you solve an interval problem. You look at um, what you're trying to do. You divide up the cases at which what could happen. And what you do is make sure it falls into the separate cases. And you take care of those cases uh, when it occurs. And so this is how we do this problem. Um, I'm hoping that there can be a better explanation. And if you do, send me the video or send me the link. And I'll work on it again and we'll come up with an even better way of doing this. But this is the most uh, straightforward way, the way I, I can see this problem uh, currently. I'll do it again, and uh, maybe we'll see something new next time. But that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.